And we're rolling. Hi, I'm Ron, sitting in a truck during my lunch break. Gonna talk about Law of Attraction, dude, gets saved. Congratulations, Law of Attraction, dude. You're no longer Law of Attraction, dude. You are now a saint of God. Good for you. 22 years ago, I was you as a Zen Buddhist on my way to a Zendo and shaman wannabe. Got saved in the middle of a dirt field after hearing the gospel a couple times at some pot festivals. The reason I'm making this video is because when I heard you say a few things I wanted to just help out with, you said that you were going to have to keep repenting for the things that you did that you felt sorry about. And uh, the answer is no. It's like flushing a toilet once. It's one and done. You don't need to ask for forgiveness for what you have been uh, already forgiven for. Let me speak a good English right now. You get the idea. It's like once you've asked for forgiveness, that's it. Cut it out. You're forgiven. Move on. Uh, the book of Romans really does a great job on that. Actually, chapter 7 is like before we gave our heart to Jesus. Chapter 8 is the good stuff after we give our heart to Jesus. And uh, the book of Hebrews, which deals with sacrifice and payment, uh, deals with how many times, uh, sorry, my alarm's going off, how many times you have to, you know, how many times Jesus has to be crucified for us to be forgiven. It's once! And once you ask him to forgive you, you're forgiven. Okay, so with that. By the way, uh, I had the chest pain thing once, and I, in my case, I, I know it was a demon messing with me. I think yours might have been a demon. and But what Satan had messed meant to uh, mess you up with, God used it to get you saved. And when you said you were you were feeling drawn, you just didn't know why, well, that again, that's in the book of Romans. It's the goodness, goodness of God that leads us to repentance, which means probably God, he was talking to you, and you were hearing his voice, and he was drawing you, and you went back to him, because you were called and chosen by him. Uh, the blue light, when you saw blue Jesus, neon blue Jesus, which sounds really cool, uh, had that, there's a lot of people who've had stuff like that, and uh, just way cool. And then when you said you had a vision of you were on a mountain with Jesus, him looking down, and you were behind him, you might, that sounds pretty good too, because he ain't looking down on you, he, you're with him. So, but you ask him for the interpretation about that. You might not have been a visionary or seer or prophetic, but guess what? Sounds like you is now. Uh, Mike Bickle, it's a free PDF online. Mike Bickle, Growing in the Prophetic, is a very good, simple book about uh, the spiritual aspects and prophetic of Christianity. My joke is the way I'll put it. That we are the computer by which there are operating systems occurring in us. One is Satan, and the other is Jesus. Most of us, you're born automatically with the virus of sin. And you're going to, you know, you'll have visions and revelations and this, that, and the other. It's just that it's for the wrong team. And when you get tight with Jesus, it doesn't mean the computer stops operating. It just means it's operating pro properly with the right heart, mind, and emotions. So there you are. Um, the book of Acts, uh, it talks a lot about the supernatural. There's one time when, anyhow, the book of Acts talks about a guy named uh, Saul, who was a hitman for the temple, who later, when he met Jesus, became a guy named Paul, the Apostle Paul, who wrote two-thirds of the New Testament. It's either Acts chapter 2 or Acts chapter 9, where he has an encounter with God. Way cool. So, um, just wanted to address some of the things that were going on in your video because I thought they were way cool. Um, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, feed your head because uh, it's his his words are spirit and truth and life. So he'll let you know what's going on. Uh, you're praying. That's awesome. What else was there that I I, I wanted to kind of comment about the video so I could go on about it but I think I'm gonna make this real quick congratulations you're doing great 
there's a lot of good people out there. Uh, oh, you were talking about you didn't know what you're going to make about for content. Well, make it about your journey. Because there's going to be other people out there doing their thing, coming out of New Age and going, what's going on now? What do I do now? You're like, well, this is what I did. And that's how I started making videos about two years ago about my process, my journey. And now it is your turn. So read your Bible, talk to God. I would suggest finding a good community that uh, of believers to help, you know, birds of a feather flock together. If you have not yet been baptized, dude, Acts 2.38, you, you're already, uh, you're already there. You're already with God, but it's, it's important. Uh, there's a transaction between us. If you have not, oops, there's my alarm. I got to go clock out, but it, Acts 2.38, repent and be baptized for the remission of your sin and you will receive a new spirit. Uh, and that's the Holy Spirit. You might already have them. Um, what else is there? Bible, prayer, baptism. Oh, there's this thing called communion. It's the bread and body of God. Uh, you're allowed to take that every day. And it's very, it's communion, communication with him. You're going to love this stuff. So you got questions you know, you'll, you'll be able to find good people, you know, search it out. You'll find good people to help you through it. You got answers, give it to it, you know, give it to other people that are learning and just enjoy your life. Cause it sounds like you already are. And if you like what you got now, you're going to love what you get better, dude, be blessed and catch you guys later. Peace.